Over the years, treatment of kidneys-related illnesses have proved to be a pain to many Kenyans, who end up with nothing as a result of the high cost of maintaining kidney patients, who in many cases are parents, siblings, relatives or even close friends. However, there is some hope at the end of the tunnel. It's, it's really encouraging. You know, we, uh, I've always been telling Kenyans we have to embrace a new mindset. It's really encouraging seeing the effort that is being put, um, seeing the fact that now Kenyatta is able to do a significant number of transplants in a year. Um, and genuinely, you, it is visible that the, uh, the effort that is being put in place. But even as Kenyans continue to battle the endemic, the government has not yet made available clear guidelines and policies to ensure that the donation of organs such as the kidney is easily available and accessible. But locally we need to come with our own laws and the government is uh, probably, if I'm not quoted wrongly, trying to come up with laws of organ transplantation. We meet Fides Meta and Jonathan Ndutu who allayed the fears of being donors. They themselves having donated their organs to people that they hold dear and are living a healthy life. I donated a kidney in 2007 to a very good friend of mine. And uh, what I can tell people out there is go give out your kidney. The kidney patients are going through so much in terms of financial problems, in terms of um, physical problems. They really go through so much. They waste a lot of time going for dialysis two or three times a week. And once you donate a kidney, you really ease a lot of burden. It's very expensive to do dialysis. I was a bit afraid at first. Um, I've never been through an operation. So sometimes you hear what goes on in operations and anything can go wrong. And But something just kept telling me, at least if I can just affect someone's life, um, God will take care of the rest. So I ended up, uh, that's when I donated my kidney, and it was quite a good match. And um, from then on, uh, things have been good, and you can survive with one kidney, basically. The event held by Haki Foundation was attended by people from all walks of life, with the documentary receiving an applaud from the participants, proving to be an eye-opener to many as Haki intends to use this as a training material on raising awareness. I think it's inspiring and I think it's a good idea and it should go to many more people who are suffering from kidney failure as well as people who need to know about kidney failure and kidney diseases. And then most of all, something I always say that I really do appreciate, it's my life, it's my health, so I ought to take care of it, and so it's my responsibility. The donation is the truest act of philanthropy that I know of, donating a kidney. And I encourage Kenyans to uh, go ahead and donate kidneys when they are uh, asked to. Indeed, it was a day that saw even the caterers who were hired to prepare food for the guests took this time to treat their guests to a special secret recipe. And today for this function about kidney, we prepared a cake called zucchini. We recommend this kind of cake uh, for those people who are, nowadays most of the people are trying to avoid uh, things like sugar, uh, fat in them. So we tried to cook a cake, we tried like three times and the third one came out very well and we've served it here and people did elect it. It is indeed high time that Kenyans understand the values that culminate not only to a healthy body, but also to a healthy society as well. And this is a word from the grey hair. So you have to obey, seek advice, guidance, at least from the professionals and from the older people. And you make it.